before we break, since we're doing college basketball here, Matt McMahon, LSU. Oh, uh, it's really fresh, man. But honestly, just on the surface, somebody with that track record going to the NCAA tournament as many times as he did, coaching good players at Murray State like John Morant a couple of years ago, given the context at LSU and all the unknown going forward, I think that's a really good hire. And even from his point of view, I think he thinks, again, without without knowing very much, this kind of just broke here. He probably thinks he's maxed out at Murray State. Now he gets a good opportunity at LSU. Just kind of had to weather the storm that's coming here for the NCAA in the next couple of years. But it's a good get for LSU. And down the road, it could be a really good opportunity for Matt McMahon, who's done a really good job at Murray State so far. So I like to hire a lot. Um, one thing you just said is one reason. The fact that he's willing to come to LSU when he could have had his pick of the jobs. I mean, South Carolina inquired about him and he turned them down. There's going to be other openings, of course, as you go further that he could have turned it. Could have just said, you know, stay at Murray State a, a little bit longer and, and wait. I mean, if, if the, my best opportunity that I feel is the one where sanctions could be coming, I might just stay here. He didn't do that. He looks like he's going to take this challenge head on. And the success he had at Murray State uh, is undeniable. They've been to the NCAA tournament three out of the last five years. That's impressive considering, look, Ohio Valley, that's a one-bid league, right? You're not, <laughs> you're not getting multiple teams in there. Almost a 700 winning percentage in seven seasons at Murray State, 697, 154. And 67 there. John Morant coached the number two overall pick in the draft a couple years ago. But this is this is what gets me really excited. Obviously, you can look at the 31 and 3 record they finished with this year, or the 18 and 0 in conference play, and the tw- net, net, net ranking of 21. And you understand that that's going to be tougher when you get to the SEC, right? That that is goes without saying. But the balance that Murray State had this year intrigues me. 19. In scoring, twenty eighth in scoring defense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Wade's teams were kind of volatile. Right? There were it was one way or the other, mm-hmm. and it's not that Will had a ton of success here. We look, you can go back and listen. I'm not happy about the decision that he had to be let go. Right? No, nobody. Yeah. You understand? But still, this is much more balance coming in right now, just on the surface, looking at it, and I I do like that. Yeah, and, and people get mad at me when I say Will Wade laid the foundation because of all the penalties that are probably coming, but in, in reality, he kind of did. He showed that you can have sustained success at LSU, and Matt McMahon, that's going to be the expectations for him coming in. Look how good Will Wade was right away. Again, there's going to be a lot of penalties coming, but once LSU gets on the other side, the expectations will be a little higher, and that will be because of the work that Will Wade did. So I think LSU will be good down the road. I also hope that Will Wade, once he pays uh, the appropriate penance, uh, What's the word? I'm penance. 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 Here, yes. Once he pays the appropriate penance, he'll also come out on the other side. He's a really good basketball coach. They were also top thirty rebounding nationally. Was Murray State? So I mean, I I like the balance that you're seeing there, at least so far in these numbers from Matt McMahon and with his most recent squad there. And again, yes, the competition obviously will increase when he gets to the SEC. That goes without saying, and there will be sanctions and penalties and. It might be lean for the first few years here, but if he can make it through that, I think LSU got themselves a a really good coach on the surface here. You always incur risk with a mid-major guy, right? Look, the last two coaches LSU hired were mid-majors. One was Johnny Jones. The other was Will Wade. So you're hoping that Matt McMahon is more on that Will Wade side, and based off track record, it looks like he is. Scott Woodward has his guy for the LSU men's basketball team. Matt McMahon will be the next head coach of the Tigers. 